Listen to that. Isn't this amazing? Oh. Isn't this amazing, guys? Hello there, guys, and welcome to this video. So, um, as promised, I um, well, I promised to bake something when I hit 2K, and uh, I hit 2K. So uh, we're gonna make some Swedish stuff here. This is like really Swedish. I don't know if this is anywhere else, but I know we have it here in Sweden. And uh, we're gonna make chocolate balls. It sounds really weird in English, and uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of good actually, and you don't need like an oven or anything, so it's really nice in that way. So yeah, these are the things that we have. I'm gonna have links, or not links, but like the text in the description so you know what this is because like this is in Swedish and I don't even know what this is in English. We're gonna start off here by adding some uh, room tempered butter, like 100 gram-ish, into like a bowl thing. There we go. We're then going to add some of this, no never mind, we're then going to add some sugar and let's see, I don't know this like without looking. So we're gonna have one and a half deciliters of sugar, and that's where these things come in. So we take one of these big ones, one and a half of those. Let's see, we have uh, we have one and a half. That's roughly a half. So as you can see, then we have like butter and sugar here. It looks really disgusting right now. But it's gonna look better, I promise. And what you wanna do now is you wanna like work this until it becomes like some sort of dough thing. And a life hack I have here is use a bag, turn it out inside out, and then you can like you can uh, you can work this until it becomes like a dough-ish. And it's really really gooey right now. When you've done working the thing, you will have something like this. It almost sort of looks like a dough and it's still sort of like buttery since like it's butter and, and sugar so it shouldn't be much else but yeah once you work that you're gonna want to go ahead and add one teaspoon of what vanilla sugar I, I don't know if that is what it's called in English but yeah we're gonna go ahead and add one tea te te one teaspoon into the mixture Turn it around a bit. Whoops, my bag. And then we're gonna add the next thing, and the next thing on the list is three tablespoons of like chocolate powder cocoa. I, I don't know what this is called in English, like honestly. It's like chocolate powder thing, or a chocolate powder thing. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of this stuff in here as well. We have one there, one there, there we go. We have two, and we have three. Three tablespoons of this stuff. You don't have to mix it around now because we're gonna add a lot more stuff. You then want five deciliters of this stuff, and this is like wheat something something. It's like wheat flakes. Let's take a look at this here. It's like dried up wheat. I, I don't know what it's called in English, but I, I will have a link in the description. So five scoops of this stuff. It's gonna be amazing. Trust me, guys. I I know this looks really disgusting right now, but like it's it's really good and it's kind of cheap as well. So that's that's really nice. Let's see. Two. We need three, four. And the last one, the fifth one, here we go, five. Let's see, what, what is there more to add? We need to add cold coffee. So if you haven't made coffee already, go ahead, make some coffee, grab a cup and put it in the, sh the fridge so you have like cold coffee. You're not supposed to burn yourself at all on this. It should be really cold. So what you wanna do now is you wanna grab your tablespoon. You wanna take two or maximum three tablespoons of your cold coffee and this is uh, supposed to be pretty strong coffee so make some pretty strong coffee take two or three depending on how strong coffee you make so i'm gonna take two and a half because this is some pretty strong stuff we have here 
I don't even drink coffee, so I don't really know why we have this. Because, like, none of us drinks coffee. So I guess it's, like, for parents or something. But, yeah, we have mixed everything in our bowl here. We now want to turn this around until we get, like, something to work with. Because right now it's just, like, butter and sugar mixed together with a lot of other stuff. So you want to work this. You can see now it looks like... I don't know, hamster food or something? I don't know what hamster eats. I've never had a hamster. But I can imagine that hamster food sort of looks like this, guys. Okay, you know what? We're, we're gonna leave the bag idea. It was a good idea. It works with most stuff, but it doesn't work with this. So, you wanna take the remaining stuff of the bag. Make sure you clean your hands before you do this. And then you wanna get in with your hands there. You wanna work this really good and it's gonna be really gooey. It's gonna be really sticky, but you want to work this like a man. I don't remember it being this disgusting. So here we go, it's, it's almost done. It's supposed to be like this, so when you take some of it and make a ball out of it, it's supposed to stay in ball form. So you can see, this is almost a ball now. And I promise you, this is really good. So what we want to do now is we want to take out a plate or some sort of tablet thing where we can have the balls on or where we can make the balls around. So we're gonna take a one of these things. We're gonna take one plate, I don't know. And then we're gonna put some of this stuff in one hand, squeeze it a bit and put it on the plate. We're gonna do this with three at a time. So, Okay, so what you want to do now when you have these three ball looking things on the plate is you want to roll them around so they really become balls but we have like ball things it's almost like you're making uh, meatballs you know Swedish meatballs and stuff like that so you can see here we almost have or well it's not perfect in any way but like it's a good ball so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this ball down here <laughs> I don't know why I tried to make a thing out of that and we're gonna do this with all oh my god we're gonna do this with some of the balls, and then we're gonna add some sprinkled stuff, like sprinkled sugar, pearl sugar, I don't know what, that, what it's called in English. But we're gonna add some of that to our balls, and then we're almost done. Okay guys, so we have rolled some balls, now this one turned out really ugly, but who cares, we're supposed to eat them anyways. So, you can see now you have really disgusting hands, so before you continue guys, go wash your hands and then come back. Okay, so now you have clean hands, guys, and what you're gonna want to do is you want to grab the pearl sugar, which is, look, listen to that. Isn't this amazing? Oh. Isn't this amazing, guys? So we have some pearl sugar. If you want to shake it, you want to make sure you have this thing closed. But uh, yeah, live and learn, I guess. So you want to take another plate now. You want to spread out some of these stuff. You can take like... Uh, other stuff as well, I don't know, if you want to have like some sort of topping then go ahead and grab that. But I want to take some of this pearl sugar. So you can see we have a, almost like a slate here of um, pearl sugar. And what you're gonna want to do now is you want to grab one ball, put it down and like spin it around so it gathers some of these pearls. You want to put some pressure on it, not too much though because you will break them if you have too much pressure. You can also like shower it with pearl sugar or something, I don't know, you can do whatever you want guys. I won't force you to do anything here, whoops, I pressed it too hard. So yeah, that's what happens if you press it too hard and I, that's what I tried to teach you there. But you can see here we almost have a, it's still like kind of ugly looking, but it's a... Uh, this is basically a Swedish chocolate ball and um, I can assure you guys. These are really good. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and once again, thank you so much for 2K, it's really amazing. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I swear I'm hitting the floor I could swear that my stomach just sunk a meter I'll be dead if
I take any 